If you've been to Thailand recently, you will know that since 2020, Thailand relaxed its laws allowing for the production of weed for medical and industrial use. We went to Thailand back in early 2000s and there was none of that. Drugs were really outlawed. Then we went last year and the weed shops are everywhere. And this was surprising to me because the drug laws are so strict here. Thai prisons are notoriously horrible by all accounts. There's a great movie, Prayer Before Dawn, if you've never seen it before. Oh my God, so scary. Now, seeing all of these stores popping up around Thailand. It got me reflecting back to my time as a healthcare assistant in a mental health facility in the UK. This was in 2003. Even then we would see a lot of young males having psychotic episodes, paranoid delusions, and the majority of these problems were from using marijuana. Now I know this is a controversial topic and I've done a video of how weed isn't good for sleep, but I wanted to make this video just to explain about the dangers of cannabis use and the effect it has on the young grown brain. I've also lived and worked as an ER nurse in LA for 10 plus years and I saw the effects of heavy habitual cannabis use especially after its legalization back in 2018. This video is not for medical advice, it's not against cannabis, it's just education on some of the effects of the growing mind that you might want to consider. A study by the Psychology Medicine out of Denmark found that young men who use marijuana and have a history of cannabis use disorder are at high risk of developing schizophrenia. Cannabis use disorder means that you can't function a normal life without using this drug every day. And I'm going to be linking all of the stats and data below, so if you're interested, you can read more. This huge study found that men aged 18 to 24 who had cannabis use disorder were over six times, six times more likely to develop schizophrenia compared to men who didn't use it. That stat is absolutely terrifying. So if you're watching this and you smoke it, weed every night, it helps you sleep, whatever, you love it. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, cannabis use disorder, I don't have that. Well, what it means is, simply to put it, it's having a negative effect from using cannabis, such as it affects your daily life in a bad way. You might miss school because of it. You sleep in, you can't concentrate properly. Um, all you can think about is the next time you can get back to, you know, and if you continued this, you're six times more likely to develop schizophrenia in that beautiful developing brain of yours. Schizophrenia, if you don't know what it is, it's a severe mental health condition that can cause hallucinations, auditory and visual delusions, um, and causes disordered thinking. It's a lifelong illness and requires medication and hospital stays at an inpatient mental health hospital to control and manage your symptoms well enough to try and function daily. And if you live in the US, you know that there aren't enough hospital beds to help people that have schizophrenia. If you know someone who's using marijuana and has a history of cannabis use disorder, it's important that they are aware of the risks and seek professional help. Early intervention is really helpful. It can improve the outcomes of individuals at risk for developing schizophrenia. Taking care of your mental health is crucial for your overall well-being. So if you're using marijuana and you're worried you're at risk for developing schizophrenia, it's important to talk to your doctor and mental health professional and refrain from using it. If you want to know why weed is so bad for sleep, click here and watch this video next.